You may be familiar with the count if function, which lets you look at a range of cells, look for something in particular, and it counts how many match. Now, count ifs takes it a step beyond that, and it lets you check the first range for one thing, another range for something else, and other ranges for other things, and you can do as many things as you like. And where they're all true, it'll count how many rows there are where all of those criteria match. So the way the formula is structured, it's written down here. You say equals count ifs with an S on the end, and then everything within the brackets is paired. So you have the first range and the first criteria, the second range and the second criteria. And like I say, you can do as many of those as you like. You can read that as the first range to check and what to check, the second range to check and what to check there. So let's do a couple of examples here. The first question is asking, how many Holden drivers are there in Queensland? So in this table here, we need to look first of all at column C and check it for Holden. We also need to go to column E and check this state for QLD, Queensland. And where both of those things are true, count how many. So it goes like this, equals count ifs, open brackets. Now to make it easier for you to see, I'm gonna click the FX here to give you the breakdown. Now the first criteria range is the car range, C3 to C21. The first criteria is Holden. Now normally you have to put your criteria in quotes. And if you were writing your formula straight out here, you'd have to do that. When you use this box, however, as soon as you press tab, it puts the quotes around your criteria for you. The criteria range two, the second thing we're checking, is the states. So E3 to E21 is our range, and the criteria here is QLD. And again, I'm not putting the quotes in, but as soon as I press tab, it adds the quotes for me. And you can see the formula has built up here. You can also see it's added criteria range three ready to go. Now the function dialog here only has enough space for five entries. So you can keep tabbing down and it will keep going down to the next box. You can also use the scroll bar over here to navigate up and down for as many as you want to go to. Two is all we need for this first one. We can see the result down here is going to be six. And when we click OK, there's the answer. Another example, how many plumbers are aged 40 or over? So again, this time we're going to check the trade and the age. Each one of those has their own criteria. So the formula gets written like this. Equals count ifs, open the brackets. Again, I'll click the FX so you can see. Now the first thing it's asking for is the plumber. So check the trade range, D3 to D21. Criteria is plumber. And even though the question is phrased, how many plumbers, you need to put plumber singular here because that's what matches in the table. The second criteria here is the age. So first of all, the range, F3 to F21. Secondly, the criteria. And we just put greater than or equal to 40 because it says aged 40 or over. So that's all done. When we click OK, there are four people that match. Now this last one has three criteria. It's asking how many plasterers in Queensland had more than 100 jobs. So we need to identify plasterer, Queensland, and the number of jobs here. It goes like this. Equals count ifs, open the brackets. Again, I'll click the FX. Now the first criteria is the trade. So D3 to D21, and we're looking for plasterer. The second criteria range is the state, E3 to E21, and the criteria is QLD. The third criteria range is the number of jobs. So I3 to I21. And what we're checking for here is greater than 100. And this time it is just a greater than because it says more than 100 jobs. So that's all done. When we click OK, our result here is two. So that's count ifs, very, very powerful function because you can specify exactly what it is you're looking for and check for multiple things at the same time.